There are some geometry problems where it is necessary to do geometric constructions to obtain the answer or to have an alternative solution process that avoids algebraic or trigonometric calculations. Some of these geometric constructions are motivated by specific characteristics of the problem. For instance, if you have tried to solve a geometry problem without success, but you find a triangle like the one shown in the figure, that is a triangle in which the measures of two internal angles have the ratio 1 to 2, you can do a geometric construction that could help you solve the problem. In this video, we will solve a geometry problem to illustrate this. This problem asks us to calculate x given the measures of angles shown in the figure and that segments AB and CD have the same length. One of the first things we should do to try to solve the problem is to use basic properties of angles in a triangle. Which properties? One of the well-known properties in a triangle is that the sum of the measures of the three internal angles is equal to 180 degrees. Another property is that the measure of any external angle at one vertex is equal to the sum of the measures of the two internal angles corresponding to the other vertices. These are the two main basic properties you have to remember when trying to solve a geometry problem, mainly in cases in which you need to calculate or relate angles. Now, with these basic properties in mind, we can try to solve the problem. If we try to solve for x in the triangle BCD, we see that it is not possible to calculate x because we don't know the measure of angle BCD. We see that we can calculate angle ABD, but that doesn't help. Something that we have to realize is that we have to somehow consider the information that AB is equal to CD, but we don't know yet how to do it. It is then when you try to remember other basic properties of triangles. Let's remember some. If a triangle has two sides of equal length, it is called an isosceles triangle. And the measures of the opposite angles are equal. Uh, something similar happens if we have two internal angles with the same measure. The sides opposite to those two angles should have the same length. Something important to solve some geometry problems is knowing what to do if we see two segments with a common end and forming a 60 degree angle. In most cases, it is recommended to draw the segment to form a triangle, which would be equilateral. Why? Because the internal angles opposite to the equal length sides should have the same measure and because they both should sum up to 120 degrees, it should be equal to 60 degrees. Then, because the three internal angles have the same measure, the three sides of the triangle should have the same length. Okay, these are additional basic properties of triangles that would be convenient to remember when solving geometry problems. Going back to our problem, if we try to use the additional basic properties, we don't find any isosceles triangle nor the possibility to form an equilateral triangle. Then what should we do? We should realize that in this problem we have the triangle ABD where the ratio of the measures of two internal angles is 1 to 2 because one is 35 degrees and another one is 70 degrees. So we have a triangle like the one shown in the figure. We are labeling the measures of two internal angles, theta and two times theta to consider the ratio one to two. Having this in a problem would allow us to do a geometric construction to form two isosceles triangles in the following way. From the third vertex, we draw a segment to the opposite side such that we get an angle with measure equal to theta, as shown in the figure. Applying a basic property to calculate an external angle on the right side triangle, we get a 2 theta angle. Then we obtain two isosceles triangles, one on the left side and 
another one on the right side. Notice that following these steps we have obtained other segments of equal length to the side opposite to theta. Then the probability that this recommendation would help you increases if in your original problem there is another segment whose length is equal to or related with the side opposite to the theta angle. Now we return to our problem. Notice that we have in triangle ABD the ratio 1 to 2 between two internal angles. In addition, in our problem we have segment CD with equal length to side AB opposite to the 35 degree angle. Then we follow the recommendation. We draw a segment from vertex B to the opposite side such that we form a 35 degree angle. In triangle BED, because 35 degrees plus 35 degrees equals 70 degrees, we get that angle at point E. Then we get the isosceles triangle on the left side due to the two internal angles with the same measure equal to 70 degrees. And another one on the right side due to the internal angles equal to 35 degrees. Now that we have completed the steps of the recommendation, we inspect if we can calculate x. We see that we cannot calculate x directly because we don't know the measure of the angle at C. But something that we have obtained is a segment ED which has equal length as CD. They both have the common end D and form a 60 degree angle because 35 degrees plus 25 degrees equals 60 degrees. Then if you remember the recommendation for that case, you know that it is convenient to draw the segment EC because we would obtain an equilateral triangle. Then EC is equal to ED and CD and the angle CED is equal to 60 degrees. Have we made any progress? Yes, we have obtained the triangle isosceles BEC. Since X is part of one of his internal angles, we focus on that triangle. It would be convenient to know the internal angle at E. If you look at the line containing that point, you can calculate that angle. 70 degrees plus 60 degrees equals 130 degrees. To complete the 180 degrees, the measure of angle BEC should be 50 degrees. In that triangle, the measure of angle BEC is 50 degrees. Then the other two should add up to 130 degrees. But since they both are equal, because triangle BEC is isosceles, each is equal to 65 degrees. Then we can say that x plus 35 degrees is 65 degrees. Solving that simple equation, we get the value of x. It is 30 degrees. Great, we have completed the solution to our problem. For solutions of other problems in geometry or other pre-university or university topics, visit 4duni.com. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time.